morning, it's Stephanie Denman here with the Denman Homestead. And today we're gonna play a game called, is it fertilized? <laughs> so I am going to go out to the chicken coop and I'm going to try to steal away some eggs uh, from a broody mama who's been sitting on eggs that Brie gave me a while back. I actually have to do the math because I need to go back in my calendar and figure out exactly when Brie gave these to me but um, so I can mark it down on my calendar. But what I'm gonna be looking for is to check and see if these eggs that the broody mama is sitting on have developed. And you do this typically twice during an incubation period, one towards like the first week, week and a half, two weeks, and then one towards the end. And our goal is to remove any of the eggs that are not showing any development because after they've been sitting for almost a month on these eggs, if they were to crack or break during the time when all the chicks are starting to hatch, it, you could be left with a really gross, stinky mess with a rotten egg. So we want to double check fertility. We want to look for development. And um, yeah, so we're going to, I, what I have today, my tools, Ugh. I'm going to collect in my little egg collection basket. I've got this pretty neat flashlight. It looks like a regular flashlight, but the way that this flashlight is, is it's got this like hollow center here. So when you turn it on, I don't want to blind you, but you can set the egg on top of it. I actually have a regular egg. Let me just show you. I collected eggs the other day, so I have one to use, but you just basically plop it on top and in a dark space, so we're gonna go in the bathroom and turn off the light where there's no window or light intrusion, you're gonna be able to see the light should penetrate the shell and you'll be able to tell if this egg has started to develop with veins or even some movement from a baby chick with inside. Now, if we find that this egg looks questionable or that it's not developing, um, I have a pencil that I'm, I could make a little mark on it. It's not gonna hurt the chick in any way to make a mark on the eggshell. So if it's questionable, like I'm not sure, I could put a little question mark, I could put write a date on it that I checked. Just know though that sometimes when you mark on the eggs, depending on what kind of utensil you use, over time it may kind of rub off. So I, I've always had decent luck with pencils, but um, I can do you a little check mark if yep, this looks all good, this is a developing egg, um, whatever sign you want to use to let yourself know that good or bad, right? Okay, now the tricky part, going out there and getting the eggs from underneath the mama. The mamas are extremely protective over their eggs, so sometimes I can get her off her eggs if I feed. If I go out and feed, she may jump down and try to get some food. Other times they'll like go days without eating and they'll just stay on their nest. So if she ends up sitting on her nest, which she has been the past couple days not leaving to eat, um, I'm gonna have to fight her to get those eggs out from underneath her and then I'll put them back as quickly as possible. Uh, we don't wanna take our time, too much time with the eggs because we want them to stay warm. Um, when they start to cool off, you know, it can be bad for the eggs if they're cool too long. So we want them to have that constant body heat that the mama has whenever she's got them underneath her. So with that being said, I'm gonna try to go gather these eggs. I got lucky. She just jumped down to eat, so let's go get the eggs. Now I did put a couple, like a layer of shavings down in this basket just to give it a little bit more cushion. I didn't want to risk having any of the eggs roll around and break. Let's go back inside. Okay, so I apologize for the lack of light in the bathroom, in the barn, but uh, this is going to be perfect conditions for us to check the eggs. Um, I'll see if I can't leave this door open and check them at the same time so it's not completely dark, but here's one of the silky eggs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to shut the door. Ah! Okay. So. Let's see. These shelves are so thick that it's gonna be really hard to see through, but this is actually a good sign. I don't know if you can see. There's like a, a little bit of an air, I know it's the light is shining, but there's a little bit of an air pocket up top. This is the actual shell up here that you can see. And so I'm gonna say that this one is probably developing because I can't see through the shell. And if I can't see through the shell, that means that there's something in it. I just hope that it's actually developing. So let's, uh, I've got a towel down to show you the light. I have a towel in the sink. So I'm just gonna take the eggs out of the basket and put them in the sink when I know that I've checked them. Oh my gosh, these are so dark. Oh yeah. So I can see some veins in this one for sure and some movement. Look guys, Let's see if we can get them to move. baby chick go. That's a little baby chick in there. Isn't that cool? That's what we want to see for sure. Veins and movement. So this is a good one. Definitely. This one has a good air pocket on top. see some veins but this one's so dark I can't see through the shell so this one's developing but just didn't see any movement we got develop we got veins See him? Oh my goodness. Got an active baby in this one. Look at him wiggling around in there. Isn't that neat? I could watch this all day if it wasn't, <laughs> if I didn't have to hurry up and put him back. I think it's so neat to see those babies in there. Okay, let's move on. All right, here's a good example. This is an empty egg. There is, the light is shining through it completely and there's no veins or development in this egg. So there will be no baby in this egg and this is one we're gonna need to toss for sure. There's nothing in here. We're gonna toss this one. Okay, this is a, an egg uh, Brie gave me that's the only non-silky egg. She had just like a regular egg that she was gonna give me from one of her other chickens and it does show signs of development in veins. Blood vessels. 
I'm trying to see if I can see any movement because this shell is also a very dark shell. Not seeing movement, but I do see development, so we're going to keep this one. Okay, this one is also a dud. There is nothing in this one. No baby. You might see this kind of a dark spot right here, this dark shadow. Um, that's just more than likely the yolk. The yolk where uh, the baby would have normally developed, but there is no development for whatever reason. So we're gonna trash that one. Dang, again, nothing in that one. No babies. Ooh, this one's dark. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a little movement in there. Let's see if we can focus it. Move around, little baby. Come on. Let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six viable. Five of them are silky eggs and one of them is that random chicken egg. And then three non-viable. That's okay. So let's go ahead and put these back under her so they don't cool off too much. They're still very warm. And I will come back for the discarded eggs. And we definitely don't want to crack those open because they've been under her for like two weeks. Whoa. Now the tricky part. Okay, Mama. I gotta give you your eggs back. Here you go. She actually did fairly well, and she let me take three random eggs that she was sitting on. I know that these are not her eggs that were originally with her because they're blue, and she wasn't sitting on any blue eggs before. So some chicken has jumped in there and laid on top of her while she's been sitting. It, they're so crazy. So I took the blue eggs from out from underneath her, and um, she's she didn't peck me once. She kind of got a little puffy, kind of gave me some, she was mouthing at me. But uh, she let me put all the eggs back underneath her. And she's sitting and good to go. Y'all want to see her? Here's that mama to be. She's a good mama. So she's kind of puffed up right now because she's uh, not happy with me. But all the eggs are underneath her. And she's sitting good. You ready to be a mama? Yeah? You a first time mama? You've never hatched eggs before. I'm excited. Then there's these two crazies. Oh, goodness. Luna, get out of that sand. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this one to check if the eggs were fertile or not. Super cool to see the babies moving around the eggs. I absolutely love that. Um, but I will keep you updated or just a week or so away from maybe hatch day. So 
we will be excited for baby silkies. The little tiny eggs are the silky babies, um, so mm, I'm excited to hatch silky babies. And uh, yeah, and I think Bree's really excited too to find out what these silky babies are gonna look like because they were from her, her chocolate silky and her white silky combined. Ooh, so cute, I can't wait. All right, well, I'll keep you updated and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. On the Denman homestead Where the sun sets golden in the west We live in harmony with nature Doing what we love best From the garden to the kitchen And the bees inside their hive On the Denman homestead Come along and plant, nourish, thrive